In this video, I'm going to talk about listing fees, the fees that eBay charges when you sell on their site. So to find out what they are, what the fees are, just click on the help link up here. And down here will be a link for seller fees. Okay, and click on how fees are calculated. Okay, and we're brought to this page, which lists the fees uh, for the eBay.com site. If you live in a different country, uh, and use a different version of the eBay site. For example, if you use eBay.ca, if you live in Canada, uh, the fees will be a little different. Okay, so what we're looking at here are the insertion fees for auctions. Uh, there's different types of listings, and I'll cover that in a later video. Uh, but for now, uh, for the auction style listings, if your starting price is one cent, uh, you'll get charged up front ten cents if you list in this category, the books, music, DVDs and movies or video games categories. Uh, all other categories will get charged 15 cents. And the higher your starting price, uh, the higher your insertion fees. Okay, now let's go down to the final value fees, which is at the end of your auction, if your item sells, uh, you get charged a percentage, or another word for it is a commission. Uh, if your item does not sell, uh, you will not get charged the fee. Now let's go down to the fixed price listings. So if you sell something in a fixed price listing, uh, these are the fees, the insertion fees. And down here are the final value fees. And the final value fees will be different depending on uh, the category that you're selling the item in. So I'm just going to quickly scroll through these so you can look at the different fees for each category. Okay. And now I'm just going to scroll down to the bottom of the page. And we're going to look at the optional future fees. So these are optional. And uh, for example, if you want to put in a reserve price, uh, a reserve price, uh, I'll talk about that in a, a later video. But if you want to put a, a reserve price in your in your listing uh, this is what the fee is okay and if you want to put a buy it now price these are the fees okay and these are the listing upgrade fees so if you want your listing to be more attractive and you want it to be more noticeable in the in the search results uh, you would choose any of these futures and clicking on any of these uh, will bring you to a page which describes more about that future. So for example, let's click on highlight and on this page it, sh it shows you what it looks like if you use highlight, bold or border futures. Okay, so if you choose bold, uh, your item, your listing will look like this in the search results and this is what it looks like with a border. And if you highlight, this is what it looks like. Yeah, I'm just going to go back and go back to the top of the page. And up here are links to other areas of, of eBay. Um, and they have different fees actually. So if you plan on selling a car, uh, you would sell it in the eBay Motors section of the site. And so on this page, it shows the fees you would get charged for selling a car. Okay, and if you're interested in starting an eBay store, uh, I highly recommend you open up an eBay store once your business gets to a certain level. And there are many benefits of it. And I'll talk more about eBay stores in a different course. Uh, but for now, if you want to know what the fees are, uh, these are the fees. Overall, you do save more money uh, if you do have an eBay store and you have plenty of items that you're selling on eBay. Okay, I'm just going to go back. And here are other areas. For example, you want to sell real estate, you want to classify that, or you want to check out the PayPal fees, just click on any of these links.